In this video, I'll show you how to add custom fields to your WooCommerce product. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So for example, we've got this gift wrapped option here. And if the customer selects this option here, we're charging them a extra $10 on top of their order. Okay. And then here we've got this input field so we can enter in a person's name that we want to give this particular product to. Okay. So again, this is just one use case. There's numerous different fields in which you can use. So you can use a file upload field, you can add a date picker field and so on. Okay. Right. This video we will be using this YIF themes and my product add on plugin. I'm using the premium version. You can go ahead and check out the free version first if you like. Okay, you'll most likely have a few limitation, um, but you can go ahead and check this out. There's a few other free um, alternatives as well on this particular blog post. So you can go ahead and follow along. As I said, the concept's pretty similar with these other plugins as well. With that being said, let's get straight into the tutorial. So once you've downloaded the YIF product add-on plugin, just go ahead and upload that plugin. So we'll go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload the plugin. Assuming you've done so, we'll navigate over to YIF and then product add-ons and extra options. Okay, and then the first thing you wanna do is create a block. So I've already added a block here. So just click add block and it will look something like this when mine opens. So we'll just give it a name. So the concept of this video is um, we're creating a gifting option for one of our product. Okay. So again, you can be completely creative and tailor it to your specific needs. Okay. And in a few seconds, it will make more sense. So we'll give this a priority and this just determines the order of this particular block. Okay. And then here we get to specify where we want to show this particular block option that we're creating. So for example, I've selected all products. In your case, you can specify the specific product or even category, okay? Doing it this way makes it way more efficient than having to do it for each individual product. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep things super simple and just set it to show on all products, okay? Here we can also exclude um, products from the rule. So here we can have it triggered for a specific user role if the customer is logged in or even if they're logged out as well. In this case, we'll just show it for all users. Okay, and now is the fun bit. This is where we get to add our extra fields and extra options. So I've already created a field here. So it's just a checkbox, which just prompt customers to specify whether they want this purchase to be gift wrapped or not. Okay, so in your case, you'll just click add option. So I'm going to select a input text field. Okay. Cause we want the person's name who we're going to gift wrap this for. Okay. Um, in your case, again, you'll just choose the appropriate field. Okay. So that could be a file upload field, a date picker field, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So let's just select input text here. Okay. And then we'll just give this a name. So here we'll say, um, we'll leave the description blank, or we can say something like, Okay, so for the label, so we can just put name here. Um, Tooltip description, we'll just leave everything as default and add in the name. We won't charge customers any extra for this, okay? But let's say we did want to charge them extra for entering a name. So we can set the price based on a fixed amount and also percentage amount as well. And since this is a input field, maybe we want to charge them per character as well, okay? So we can actually decrease the price based on the option that the customer selects. But in this case, I'm just going to select no price change. Okay. And then let's just hit save. All right. So let's save changes and then let's go ahead and double check our product page. Okay. So we've got our gift wrapped option here and then we've got our name option here. Okay. So we can enter in the person's name. Okay. And then we can check this option to have it be gift wrapped. Okay. And it's a $10 charge for this option. Okay, then we can add it to our basket. And then if we go ahead and view our cart page. Okay, so here we can see our options here. Okay, so let's head back over to our configuration page. And let's have a quick look at a few of the general settings. Okay, so here we get to choose a position of the fields as well. Um, here we're displaying it before the add to cart um, button, which makes sense. Again, a lot of this is pretty self-explanatory, so you can scroll down and hopefully it makes sense. Okay, and then here we've got some further customization option, okay? So we can inherit our theme default styling, like what we're doing here, or we can add our custom styling. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you got any questions, leave it in the comment box below. 